In this quick tips video, we're going to be looking at controlling the texture. So we are in uh, oils and acrylics all the way to the left. And we're painting here and you can see that there's very little texture that's showing up. So I want to talk about how to increase that, how to increase that per brush and also how to increase that in the software in general. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at overall. So we're going to go to window visual settings, which is F12. And we're going to expand this and scroll down to the bottom. So here we have oils and acrylics. We have impasto depth. As we increase this, you can see that the impasto depth has increased. We have more texture. We bring it to the left. You'll see that we have none when we have it set to zero. Let's leave this at five. And then from five, we're going to adjust it per brush. If this is all the way up, it makes it a little bit harder for us to see all of the available options in their full range. All right, so let's put that at five. Notice that gloss is turned off. If we disable nano pixel, gloss becomes an option. You can see that there's more reflection on the paint here and now no reflection on the paint. We're going to turn nano pixel back on and continue. So now we're in the liner, the very first brush here, we're going to choose show brush creator, which is keyboard shortcut F5. And here we have a couple of different settings. Inside of paint, we have the option for max impasto height, max impasto smudge. Max impasto height, we're going to increase. Notice that unlike visual settings, this does not affect the current stroke, but it does affect the next stroke. So here you can see that it's a much higher, thicker uh, impasto depth. If we bring this all the way down. You notice that it is smooth and flat and cuts through the height of the paint that's already there. So we're gonna bring this up. Now, while we're here, let's look at impasto smudge so we understand what that is. I'm drawing here up, you'll notice that this is grainy. If we bring this all the way to the right, you'll notice that those grainy sections have been blended together, making this smudge, this paint, smoother and more blended, a little more oily, a little less gritty. Now, another place that this can be controlled is here with loading. So we have loading set to 100. Let's bring it down to about 25 and paint across. Notice that there's not enough paint to create texture. Let's bring it up to about 50. There's a little bit of texture showing here. Let's bring this up to about 75. And then all the way up to 100, we get the full texture showing through. All right, now let's go ahead and increase inside of visual settings, our impasto depth all the way up. And here you can see with loading set to 100, max impasto height set to 200, and impasto depth set at 10, that we're seeing the full amount of texture, the full amount of impasto available inside of Rebel. If you guys have questions about impasto depth, how to control texture inside of Rebel 6, please put it in the comment section. Thank you for watching, stay creative, and have a wonderful day.